When this woman leaves you, you are going to be alone with no 401k. If you are intending to stay with Sean, you would not try and milk him dry. You would know that his money is your money and if he's broke, you are broke. Cool, what's good what's happening it's time for life so today we are back with another video and we are reviewing love after lockup we're reviewing the next couple which is destiny and sean let's see what they're up to now Why are you waking me up? so basically destiny and sean are cooped up in the bed talk about how amazing the night before was you mean the night where you guys invited guests to your house and then refused to feed them because destiny wanted to ooh, ooh, all up in Las Vegas, get get down with the get down, or get down to the get down, or get down to get down. I don't know what saying is, but anyway, that's what she was trying to do, and she did it. She did it very well. She got wasted, and that is what she wanted. Now she's lying there talking about some. I don't even know how. How did I get into these clothes? Why would you want that for yourself? Why would you want that? And she's like, now that I'm in Las Vegas, I'm free. I'm free to be me. The real me is coming out. Blah, 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 blah. This is the real you. To be completely wasted and not even know how you got from one place to the other and not even know what you're doing with yourself. Okay. In any case, the next day has come. She's excited. She wants to explore. She wants to do some shopping. She's like, I want to take some, I put, want to put up some pictures. That's cute. I want, I like nice things. Okay, what do you mean by that? And then Sean is like, okay, I'll give you some money. And she's like, no, I want a credit card. Credit card too. Two. Oh dear. So then she's like, you know, there's a limit to this credit card thing. You can't just go wild. And she's like, what's the limit on it? And he's like, 1500. And she's like, that's not going to be enough. I was thinking like five, 10. And he's like, thousand. And she's like, yeah, not like 500. Not just the money, add a credit card. I don't know what I don't know is that I cannot be in possession of a bank account with a checking or savings because to take care of my drug habit I got charged with 598 felony counts of check fraud people have some audacity you come out of prison a lot of people that will come out of prison don't even have a place to stay okay and that's how they end up back in prison because they start doing weird stuff Right, they start doing extremely weird stuff because they don't know how else to support themselves. You are in this nice influencer house looking thing with Sean, and now you want to just milk him dry. Don't you know that if you milk him dry, that means you're milking yourself dry? Because supposedly you're trying to be in a relationship. See, this is the funny thing. If you think about it realistically, the people who start doing this and start mismanaging money and start asking about money, 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 and everything is about money, 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 those people you really have to be careful because if you if you are intending to stay with Sean, you would not try and milk him dry. You would know that his money is your money and if he's broke, you are broke. You are especially broke because you can't have a bank account. So I don't know what work you're going to do. Basically, this is your life right now. And you're trying to live this high life with no job. You're just sitting in the house wishing him bye-bye, have a good day at work and all the rest of it. While she cooped up in the house, just waiting for him to give you money to just go and spend. Like, what? Mm -mm. The minute they, they come out of jail and it's like they want to and they're already talking about money, like they can't even wait. They just want everything and every. This is the same guy that got your charcoal mask, mask, all these clothes, all this makeup, right out of prison. There's a lot of people that don't even do that, you know. I don't even know what to do. I don't even know to buy these things. But she's ungrateful. Still, she wants more. What more does she need? I have enough kind of put aside for my kids. I know kind of what they're going to need. And it has been very expensive to date Destiny. This guy really up here, sitting up here, talking about, you know, if she doesn't... Uh... Hey, my goodness. This is the financial situation this guy is in. He is still talking about if she doesn't show up to court... He will lose his $50,000 and the woman that he loves. Who cares about the woman that you love? She would have intentionally done things to make it so that you are going to lose those $50,000. Forget about the woman that you love because I don't think she loved you back if that's the case. If she's not trying so hard to stay out of trouble, look, now we're in quarantine. I think back in the, in the day, we didn't know that we could do quarantine. We didn't know that we could do all these things, right? Just sit this one out, wait till the court date. Don't do anything crazy. Don't go anywhere, really. Las Vegas is always going to be there. That's where you live with this Sean guy. Just wait. 
stay in the house don't do anything crazy i'm so scared i'm pretty sure people are betting on this i'm so scared don't bet by the way i'm so scared sean is gonna lose all this money the fifty thousand dollars he's already going into his 401k i don't know why because when this woman leaves you you are going to be alone with no 401k like why how do people think like you've worked your entire life to build something up and then this pretty little thing just comes along and you're just like ah, meh, whatever and it's just like how and why john over here secretly phones his ex-wife who he has the six kids with who he's had an on and off relationship with for 20 good years and so he's sitting in the car while destiny's in the house and he's talking to her one of his daughters wants a game that costs 40 bucks so the woman his ex is asking him for the money and he's like okay sure i wouldn't i didn't think sean would say no so they have a good cordial relationship I guess because of the kids but also there's something there obviously if they've had an on and off again relationship and i've had 20 <laughs> i've had six kids uh over the last 20 years then obviously there's something there but anyway they're talking and she's like so how are things sometimes i'm telling you sometimes these producers must pay these people to ask these questions because the way they ask it or the questions that they ask and when they ask them super weird super dodgy and interestingly planned kelly sean's ex is like yo uh she's not very happy she's pissed and she just puts the phone off and sean is like destiny and kelly are gonna have to meet because otherwise otherwise this this is this is not gonna end well like if they don't meet then destiny's gonna not gonna be able to see the kids and if destiny's not able to see the kids then yeah this, how is the relationship gonna work quite literally you know in these confessions when people say things that are really ridiculous they say it and they just stare at the camera like so destiny is over here talking about even though shana's put a limit of 1500 i'm gonna spend whatever i want yeah you know you sound ridiculous right you know because your face is telling that you know that you sound ridiculous in any case I know that this woman is gonna blow out that credit card. And this is so sad. This is why people should not only wait with the getting married thing, not only wait with the living in with people thing, not only wait with all that, even the boyfriend girlfriend thing. Like you need to eh, take your time a little bit, get to know each other a little bit. Cause all these weird temperaments like, oh, this one is gonna be, you know, she's very jealous. She's gonna be jealous that I'm talking to my ex. You guys have six children. Why wouldn't you talk to that woman? Anybody that does not understand that is not the person for you. In the same case, how he's maxing out his 401k and is taking, you know, da -da -da -da, all these things. And now there's this 50,000 above Sean's head. And it's like, listen, listen, Linda, listen. The thing is, you should be talking about finance. When you're in this high stage of, you know, they're all talking, all these people are talking about marriage and the love of my life and da -da 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 but they're not even on the same financial level. You have to have some kind of financial understanding, not the same financial income, not the same kind of job, not the same kind of tax bracket, not the same kind of anything, but you need to be able to be on the same page when it comes to finances. Okay, if this month, the situation is like this, we're obviously not gonna go out and be buying this, that, that, and third. Sean looks like he lives in a very nice house. This woman has gone to a shop where somehow this shop, this assistant in the shop is like, can I help you? And she's like, yep. And she's she's about to max out that credit card. Oh my gosh, I feel so sad for Sean. The salesperson, they they get to talk and she's like, you know, tell me what you would like. And Destiny's like, listen, I'm just I'm gonna keep it 100. Like I've been in prison the last three years. So. I don't know what's out there anymore these days. And and the woman is like, okay, cool, yeah, I get it. Yeah, things do change. And I'm like, oh, she's very understanding because sometimes people are like, oh, taking it back and you can visibly see it in their face. But then it turns out- I've been in that boat, so I get it. I was locked up for three years. She really can relate. This conversation is weird. I, don't, I, I guess this is how people make friends. I guess this is how they, this is so strange. So Destiny is like to this, this saleswoman, like, oh, so did you ever have girlfriends in prison? And she's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then she's like, oh, okay. And then she's like, oh, do, your ring are, are you married or something are you engaged or something and she's like no i bought it for myself because customers would hit on me and then destiny's like oh but is it wrong that customers hit on you and then she's like no but you should be like 50 year old man and she's like oh so it's okay that i'm hitting on you and then she's like yeah i don't mind 
And then Destiny in the confessions is like, yeah, she'd like to have something with Sean and then have something with a woman on the side. She used to do things with, with just her friends. Oh, so that's how you do things. She just went up to the girl. She just told her whole situation. Sean, yeah, my boyfriend. I even think it's weird saying him, her saying that that's her boyfriend because he's done and sacrificed so much for her that it's actually so weird to think that they're not even engaged. Not even engaged. Then she goes on and say, yeah, he spent 50000 in prison on her. And, um, you know, this girl, the sales girl, she's like, oh, so he doesn't know about your thing for girls. And she's like, no. But anyway, that's going to have to happen. In any case, we're going out. We're going, and she's like, oh, we're, doing, we're going out. She's like, yeah, no, we're going on a date. He likes sushi. He's like, oh, I love sushi. Okay, because Sean doesn't like sushi, my boyfriend. Oh, that's, that's, that's weird. And then I guess they're exchanging phone numbers. This is so disrespectful, but it's so disrespectful both ways. The fact that Sean is still talking to his ex, Kelly, which is a very natural thing. And so when there's things that you think are natural and that are for the betterment of your family and your family unit, you do not have to shy away from these things for your new significant other like you do not have to shy away from those things they're normal right so make it like they're normal and make it that your new significant other knows that this is normal it is normal for you to speak to your children's mom because those are your children it's so important like i don't even know if they have visitation or whatever i'm thinking at some point those kids will have to come to sean's place so like i'm so i'm even so confused about that as well yeah 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 she goes to pay for this stuff, and it is declined. Probably been canceled by the issuer. That is embarrassing. I'm super pissed. Hello? Sean. Hey. Why is this card saying it's declined? So I was like, I don't know. I don't know why, I don't know why that thing would be declined. I mean, I don't know. And this is like, listen, yeah, I'll see you when I get home. In any case, then it's like, oh yeah, you. Oh yeah, and your number. Uh, yeah. I give that to you. And the sales girl, she had already been given 20% off. 20% off of some of it. Oh, is that because I'm taking you on a date? Yeah. Oh. I did not know you could do that. I'm not quite sure you're supposed to do that. And I sometimes I'm like, these people, do they just pay people to? I don't know. It's so weird because that's very incriminating. And this is on international television. The bill was $175, by the way. But since she's been out of prison, she's already spent $800 to $900. I'm telling you, these people move mad with money. Maybe Sean cut me off for some reason. It's ridiculous. If you're not already part of the family, make sure you hit bumps, thumb, and something like subscribe button. Comment because I really want to know what you think. Like because you obviously like this video. And hit the notification bell whilst you're at it. Make time for a glorious life. It's time to start what? Living it right tomorrow. I'll talk about another love after lock up couple. But in between, in the during the week, you'll see some other videos appearing. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Make time for glorious life. It's time to start living it right. Bless.